Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is part four of our day night cycle. So let's open up Unity and mono develop. And I'm going to go back into Unity. So where we left off last time, we have a couple suns. We've made our game timer. We have an array for our suns, and we've got a cycle set up for how long it's going to be. I've got mine defaulted to one minute. And our suns are moving through the sky. And our shadows are moving. Now we also added our shader for the blended skies. And we've also got a couple of sky boxes now. Well, you should have added them by now. And I've set mine up so that the day is first. And then the night ones. So next I'm going to start blending them. Setting up code that will take the time of day. And slowly blend between day and night. So let's go over to our script, mono develop, and I'm going to create a new function for this. So the function is going to be private because nothing outside of this class is going to need to access it. It doesn't return anything, so it's just void, and I'm just going to call it blend skybox. It doesn't take any parameters. And I'm going to want to create a temp variable here to tell me basically how far we in we are into the day so you know at 50 percent we're you know 50 percent of the way through the day at 25 percent we're 25 percent of the way through the day now this variable is going to be of type float i'll just call it temp and this is going to be equal to our day cycle in minutes divided by the time of day Actually, that's backwards. What we want is the amount of time in the day that's passed so far divided by uh, the, how long the day is supposed to be. Now, our day is in minutes, and we want to convert it to seconds. So we could just cut and paste this. Uh, let's actually just set up another variable for this because we're probably going to be using our uh, day cycle in minutes. We're going to want it to convert it to seconds uh, during the update call and we don't really need to do that calculation every update. So I'm just going to create another private variable up here. So private. This will be a type float and I'm just going to call it a day cycle in seconds. Then I'm just going to come down here into my start function and set its value. So day cycle in seconds is going to be equal to day cycle in minutes times minute. And I'm just going to take that and no sense doing the calculation here again because we already have that. And we're going to do the calculation again down here but we don't need to we can just put that in. Now we're going to need some way to reference our skybox and that's pretty easy. I'm just gonna go up here under start and to get to our skybox you'll want to use render settings dot skybox and then we're gonna to want to set a float value. We're gonna to want to tell it what value and how much. So I'm going to start mine off at zero and I'll show what this means in the inspector in a second. And the value I'm, going to, I'm going to want to set is called blend. So let's go into the inspector and see what that means. So I'm getting, well we'll start off with the render settings dot skybox. What that does is it gets whatever you have here in the render settings and the skybox material. So it's going to grab this material here, which of course is the one we have set for our current skybox. Now this set float blend then zero, what we're telling it to do is grab the variable blend and if we open if we actually open up the skybox, uh, we're grabbing this variable here and that's displayed up here and we're setting it to zero. So we're going to set it all the way here. Now as time goes by, we're just going to want to 
gradually slide it to the other end. And of course, once we reach the other end, that's going to be nighttime. Then we just slowly start gradually bringing it back. Now later on, we'll want to add sort of a, uh, we'll kind of like a sine wave to it. So, you know, from, we don't want the sun to, or our skybox to be blending evenly over time. Uh, you'll see that as we go along. But let's just start off. We've set it to zero right here. Now I'm actually just going to copy this line. I'm going to come down here, paste it in, and instead of setting it to zero, I'm actually going to set it to our temp variable that we just created. And I'm also going to throw a debug log statement in here, just so I can monitor that variable while I'm making edits to it. And now that I think of it, we're actually want it to go over half a day like it makes one whole change basically it's changing twice a day so it has to go from you know day sky box to night sky box and back to day sky box so we're actually going to want to times it by two so let's turn off this debug statement since we already know that one works i've got that one down here to monitor our temp let's just save it off and let's just take a look So here we are, and I forgot to actually put the call in my update statement to call this function. Ah, uh, the joys of coding. So now that function will be called every frame. So we'll just start it off, and if we just look up at the sky, you notice the star is starting to appear. Now we're obviously going to have to adjust the timing because here we are, this should be high noon, and we've got the skybox half faded between them. And if you watch the little slider up in your inspector, you'll notice it just slowly moves across. And down in the left-hand corner, you see the uh, what our temp variable is. Okay, well, we got it blending, but it's not quite what we want. Let's go back into model develop. And what we're going to want to do next is right now we're having our time of day. So we have time passing through the day, but at no point do we ever actually reset the day. So once our day, in this case, since it's supposed to be one minute long, once our day actually hits 60 seconds, it's just going to keep adding up. So we're going to want to add a line in here and we're just going to check to see if time of day is greater than our daytime in cycles or day cycle in seconds and then we're just going to subtract from it so we'll say our time of day minus equals day cycle in seconds so when it hits you know let's say 61 seconds what's going to happen is it'll subtract whatever seconds it's uh, is in our day, which would be 60 in this case. So it'll end up being just one second into the day. And if you ever want to keep track of you know, how many days have passed, you could uh, create a variable and add that here as well. So you can keep track of how many days and you know eventually how many weeks and whatnot, but I'm not gonna go that far into it. And just to make sure this works, let's uncomment that. We'll comment this out because we don't, we know this is working. Let's go back into Unity and let's test out our timer to make sure that it recycles every 60 seconds. Sixty seconds is kind of long. Let's actually change it to 30 seconds. So 30 seconds would be 0.5 minutes. And away we go. Our suns are flying. And it should reach the horizon on the other side around 30 or around 15 seconds, which it does. Now it's underneath us, which is going to be night time. Now when we get into adding moons, we can have our moon cast uh, a light as well, so our train's not so dark. 30 seconds is almost there. We go it reset. So that's working. But like I, I was saying with the moons, when we start adding moons, 
uh, instead of our scene being completely dark like that we could have our moons given light but a, a very low intensity so it's not as bright plus we'll also have lights turning on in the village but we'll cover that when we get to it so we know that's working I'm just going to comment that back out and I want to just quickly take a look at this now when it hits one second or when it hits one in the debug log if you watch it I want to start doing the exact same thing we're doing with the time and that's taking away whatever that value is so now we're at full night so now I want to start changing to full day so what we'll want to do is just check to see if our temp variable is greater than one. That means we've sw switched from full day and we're at full night and beyond. What we'll want to do is tell that temp is actually going to be equal to. Now we'll want to get the what's after the one. So when we're at 1.2, we'll want that 0.2 part. So I'm going to say temp minus one. So if we're at 1.2, this is going to be two but we want to set, start moving in the opposite direction so we'll, if we look at our blended sky once we get over one we want to take any time that's passed after that and start moving it this way that's pretty easy we'll just say one subtract you know whatever it is we're over so if we save that off hopefully this is making sense so if we save that off and we just watch the timer down in the corner here, our suns are flying through the sky. So we're just over half half a day. And there they are at one over one and now it's starting to come back to our day cycle. So it should be full day when it hits down to zero. Now since the time changes according to your frame rate, you may not actually see an exact zero. But as you notice now, it's starting to go up again instead of back down. So we got that working. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll start working on having it set up a little bit better. Because if you notice our sun, we're starting our day off at, at zero, which is midnight. But we're starting our sun off shining uh, completely across our our land and we should actually have it start off pointing straight up because that's where midnight would be and we'll also want to have our skybox blend a little unevenly throughout the day and we could also add a variable actually to our game timer to tell it uh, what time of day we're actually going to start at and I'm just going to quickly do that now since it's a public one and that'll be the cliffhanger for our next video so public, it will have to be a, f well, yeah, we'll leave it as a float. And we'll just say start time. And I'm just going to make a quick note here. Uh, this time is in military, uh, I spelt it all wrong, military time. And I'm actually going to add military there. And it should show up. So if you want your game to actually start at 10 a.m., it'll just be 10. And if you want to start it at you know 10.30, it'll be 10.5. Not quite military, but it's something we can actually work with. Uh, we'll probably, we'll have to play around with that at the beginning of the next video. But I'll see you then. Hopefully this will hold you. Bye-bye.